Hey, y'all. Um, back in 2014, today, I lost my first baby. I was 24, almost 25, and the way that I lost her, it, it wasn't normal. I had a condition called preeclampsia, and I had severe swelling. I went from 127 pounds to 188 pounds in seven months. That's like 60-something pounds. So the day that I lost her, I ended up having a seizure. And I knew I was having a seizure, so I started praying. The seizure stopped. So I was like, thank you, Jesus. And I was getting ready to go downstairs, because I was at my mom's house at the time. I was going to go downstairs and eat. But God said, don't move. So I didn't move. About five minutes later, I had another seizure. And my, my eyes closed involuntarily, and my mouth closed involuntarily. But before my mouth closed completely, I was able to scream so my mama could hear me. So when I woke up or came out of the seizure, my mama said that I was choking on my vomit. Uh, my blood pressure was like 171 over like 130. My blood sugar was extremely low. So I had four different things going on that could have killed me individually, um, but it, none of it took me out. So uh, when I got to the hospital, they couldn't find my baby's heartbeat. And I had to carry my baby two days knowing she was dead inside of me, and I could feel her balled up on the right side of my stomach. That in itself would make you lose your mind. And I, when, we, when I was little, I used to sing this song at church, keep my mind, keep my mind, keep my mind all the time. I didn't understand. People, I think people sing that and don't really understand what keeping your mind really is. But I found out during that trial, because I didn't know how I was going to make it. I didn't care if I lived. I wanted to die just because my baby wasn't here. It's something to walk in the hospital with your baby, but when you don't leave with your baby, that, that's just the worst. So anyway, um, I went to, ch to this church, this apostle prayed for me, and I kind of came back to myself. And the day that she prayed for me, I looked in the mirror and I said, I look like death. I knew I was going to die if I didn't get to somebody. So she prayed for me, kind of went back to normal. About four months later, I got pregnant again. And most people don't know, my family don't even know I got pregnant again. but. I ended up having an eptopic pregnancy. So I'm like, God, like, what's going on? Why, wh why can't I keep carry a child? And so I had to get uh, my right tube moved, complete, removed completely. And it took, the surgery took longer than expected because the doctor said that um, the doctor that did my C-section with the the baby that I lost, he said that that doctor sold my stomach and my intestines together. And I know that if I had not had that second pregnancy, I would have, I would have died because the doctor said that um, it would have abrupted and I would have died. Nobody would have known why. But when I had that ectopic pregnancy, I called Apostle and Apostle started praying for me. And when he prayed for me, it felt like five fists, like five of my fists were coming out of me. And I was like, what is this? And it felt like it popped. And the blood had a different texture and the blood was black. And I was like, what is this? I'm trying to listen to Apostle pray, but I'm trying to figure out what's going on too, because that's not normal, black blood. And to feel that, coming out of me, this wasn't normal. So I said, Apostle, after he finished praying, I was like, Apostle, did you know that while you were praying, blood started coming out of me and it was black? He was like, yeah, I know. Somebody put a curse on your womb. So I was like, wow. You know, why would anybody want to do this to me? But um, got past that. Back in 2015 in Evans, Apostle came to, to Evans and he called me on stage, he kind of told the audience my testimony, and when he was ministering to me, and he told me, he was like, what do you want? Tell God what you want. Do you want a boy or do you want a girl? So I'm like, God, I don't know what I want to say, because I want a girl and a boy, but I, I didn't tell Apostle this, so 
he's uh, just stood there, like looking up in the corner. So I was like, well, what is he doing? So, um, <laughs> so, so he was like, um, God says you're gonna have a girl, my daughter Michelle, and, and he said, and you're gonna have a boy, my son Derek. So I thank God for my children, and I'm done having children. Thank God. Amen. <laughs> Give God praise. Give God praise. That's a very powerful testimony. Hallelujah. Glory. 